Hello, I'm Arvo from BTS Aitara, and I'm here to talk to you about our forecast. What is our forecast? It's a time series forecasting method using a programming language called R. R is a programming language and open source software environment specifically designed for statistical computing and data analysis. There are many different forecasting methods or models using R, where one of the most popular methods are ARIMA, which stands for Autoregressive Integrated Moving, Moving Average, and SARIMA, which is basically the same, putting some emphasis on the seasonality. Depending on your data, it is wise to analyze the data a bit before settling on a model. Our forecasts are being used in our everyday life as we speak. Most popular functions for it are predicting weather patterns and temperatures, stock market patterns and behaviors, sales number predictions, budget managing, and population growth and moving predictions. For the best possible results, there are some requirements for a reliable R forecast. As our forecast is calculating according to time series data, it gets the best results when we have as much sample data as possible. So the longer history of data we have, the better. Another important thing is that we have stable data. It means that we do not have an, any significant gaps in data, as in some months have no data in them. Also for the best results, it's best when the data we want to predict is not a niche product or service that has no historical pattern or trends, but more of a significant branch that we can be sure that has no gaps and has had similar values in the past. The way we implement the solution for you is as follows. First, we need to analyze your data, specifically the ones that we want to predict with and run tests to see which model is going to give the most reliable results. When we need to decide on certain dimensions that we want to analyze our forecasts with, Sure, we can just predict the net sales of the company, but it would be much more beneficial when we can start also see it between departments or stores. For that, we need to map the way we predict the data, as every different combination of forecasts needs its own calculation model. After that, we can adjust certain parameters for the best results depending on the projections given. Finally, we will implement an automation system that will renew the forecasts with new data that has been inserted into the database, will be daily, weekly, or monthly. Next, we're going to see uh, one of the solutions that is working for our clients. In this demo, I will show you a solution that has, that has been made for one of our clients, where we have predicted net sales and cost values for a year, taking account the last 10 years. The calculations have been done according to two different dimensions, store and client group for detailed predictions in different departments. Our solutions will be dynamic so that you're capable of switching between different predictions with a click of a button. When I choose a different store, the predictions and values change. If I add another dimension to that, the numbers will change according. This is just one example of the way that we can make your data work for you, predicting the future. In this case, the imported data got calculated thousands of times and the scripts put together the most probable results, taking account an error of 5%. In the end, of, after additional tweaking and adjusting, we got the first till third month predictions close to an error of 1%. A tool like this will help you make better decisions and help you also make accurate projections and budget limits. As always, we are making improvements for this model as time goes on. So feel free to ask when you have more. As always, we are making improvements for this model as time goes on. So feel free to ask when you have more specific needs. So this was a quick overview of what our forecasting is, how you can implement it into your data, and what kind of solutions we are offering. Thank you for listening.